It turns out that Jupiter may be more than just an enormous ball of gas spinning a few hundred million miles further out in the solar system. We Earthlings might have the giant planet to thank for our very existence. Two scientists are suggesting that the inner solar system once played host to a bunch of super-Earths, planets that were larger than our own but smaller than Neptune. Jupiter, however, put an end to those early occupiers of the inner orbits, bulldozing in and sweeping them into the sun, according to a paper published this week in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Jupiter's epic, planet-shattering journey toward the Sun and back out again laid the foundations for the creation of Earth and the other smaller planets nearby, Mercury, Venus and Mars. Our work suggests that Jupiter's inward-outward migration could have destroyed a first generation of planets and set the stage for the formation of the mass-depleted terrestrial planets that our solar system has today, said Konstantin Beitigin of Kultech one of the authors of the paper. Galactic Outlier The theory attempts to explain why our solar system is a bit of an oddball in our galactic neighborhood. Must other systems that have planets orbiting around a star similar to our sun look very different? They generally have at least one planet significantly larger than Earth that's in a closer orbit than Mercury's. But they don't have many objects further out. Maybe that's because of Jupiter's destructive romp in the early history of the solar system. There is no reason to think that the dominant mode of planet formation throughout the galaxy should not have occurred here, Beitigen said. It is more likely that subsequent changes have altered its original makeup. He and his co-author, Gregory Lachlan of University of California, Santa Cruz, are building on a scenario of Jupiter's migration that was previously put forward by other scientists. Dance with Saturn Known as the Grand Tack Scenario, it describes Jupiter getting drawn toward the Sun in the early era of the solar system thanks to its huge mass. What stops it from being sucked right into the Sun is Saturn. The two gas giants start to exert gravitational influence on one another entering a planetary dance that eventually sends them back further out into the solar system. Beitigen and Lachlan suggest that during its inwardry journey, Jupiter dragged a load of planetary building blocks, known as plantisimals, along with it. That sent the plantisimals smashing into debris in the inner solar system, causing them to break apart and fall into the sun at a faster rate. Swept into the sun. The scientists say they ran a simulation of what would happen if there were also a number of super-Earths in the vicinity as well. They found that a wave of decaying plantisimals would steer the super-Earths into the sun over the course of 20,000 years. It's a very effective physical process, Beitigen said. You only need a few Earth masses worth of material to drive tens of Earth masses worth of planets into the sun.